Aunt Vicky's Library. Hi kiddos! Welcome back! I hope everyone is enjoying their summer break from school. And please tell me that you are still keeping up with your reading. Just in case you haven't been, how about you read along with me today? Okay, let's find our comfy spots and we'll continue reading from Snoopy's Two Minute Stories. Next story. Things that go bump in the night. One day, Snoopy and his Beagle Scouts went hiking to a campsite on top of a mountain. They unpacked, then laid out their bedrolls. After a quick swim, they gathered wood for a campfire. As the troop cooked their dinners over a crackling fire, they watched as fireflies gave way to the stars. The Beagle Scouts chirped at Snoopy to tell them ghost stories. There is no such thing as ghost, Scout Leader, Snoopy replied. Besides, if I tell ghost stories, you'll be too scared to sleep. But the Beagle Scouts didn't think they would be scared. They didn't stop chirping until Snoopy gave in. So Snoopy told the Scouts ghost stories. He told the one about the haunted old mansion and the ghost in the gooseberry patch story. He remembered the time his brother saw a ghost in the desert. And each time Snoopy finished a story, the Scouts begged for one more. Finally, a yawn spread around the campfire. One by one, the scouts fell asleep in their tiny sleeping bags. At last, everyone was asleep, except Snoopy, who was wide awake, thinking about ghosts. Snoopy stared into the darkness. Crickets chirped. Frogs croaked. And oh, what was that? Snoopy hid under the covers and wondered if there really were ghosts after all. He listened and listened. Whatever it was didn't sound like a ghost. It rustled and crackled like wrappers and paper bags. Suddenly, Snoopy realized what was happening. He jumped out of his sleeping bag and ran towards the backpacks full of food supplies. But on the way, Snoopy tripped on a root and fell into a clothesline. A wet white towel fell over his head. Ow! Snoopy howled from the pain in his toe, and he wrestled with the wet towel stuck on his head. The noise woke the Beagle Scouts, who screeched when they saw Snoopy. No, it's not a ghost. It's only me, Snoopy said, dropping the towel. Look, he added, pointing to a bushy tail disappearing into the woods. It was a raccoon trying to get into our food, he explained. Your screams must have scared him away. Woodstock and the other scouts still looked very frightened. There are no ghosts, Snoopy said firmly. But somehow no one wanted to sleep alone that night. The troop bundled into Snoopy's big sleeping bag. They snuggled under the covers, but they were still too frightened to sleep. I'm going to tell you a story about something nice, Snoopy said. Then you won't have nightmares. The scouts huddled together. Maybe Snoopy's story was about a bear or even a lion. It's about something that's going to happen very soon, Snoopy said with a yawn. Once upon a time, there was a breakfast. <laughs> Get it? It was a story about something that was going to happen very soon. Like when they fell asleep, when they woke up, there would be breakfast. So therefore, oh, never mind. You guys get it. But that was a really cute story. Okay, we're going to end it there for now. When we come back, we'll finish the rest of the read. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Stay positive. Have fun. And don't forget.